Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For this video, I'm going to be showing how to use Caden Live to transcode MP4 files into uh, DNX HD for using in DaVinci Resolve on Ubuntu. So let's firstly uh, go into Caden Live here. I'm gonna pop it over to the screen. And I'm going to just add into my project bin a folder i'm going to be using the ethiopian folder this is a uh, few clips from an ethiopian restaurant i shot last week or thereabouts i'm going to add it to my project bin it's going to kind of hang here for a second because i'm using proxy clips those take a little bit to generate you can see um the pending jobs has finished populating so it's generated proxy clips for everything in the folder <clears throat> now compared to davinci caden live is very easy to work with it doesn't require dnx hd so i can just um pop one of those clips onto the timeline and it works out of the box so this is two the two zero seven nine hd and as you can see i'm just going to scrub through it here it's a b-roll shot of uh <coughs> going from the base of this colorful serving dish onto some ethiopian foods um so that was part of the video so what you can do in project bin in caden is if you right click you're going to have after extract audio transcode and these are transcode options for transcoding from mp4 into dnx hd now there's a lot of options here if we start from the top we have dnn dnx hd 1080i 25 fps 120 mb slash s now the one you're going to do firstly is the these are all 1080p clips so starting with um that it's 25 fps so dnx hd 1080p 25 fps we have two options 120 uh i think it's mega bits per second it could be megabytes no megabits and small b i think um or 100 and so i'm just going to use the 120 to try conserve a small bit of space you're going to see these are going to end up bigger so all i need to do is click that once and this is nice it's a graphical methodology you can see one job is running um, there we go one job has stopped running two zero seven nine so what i'm going to do now is drag over my uh, file manager and I i'm doing this so we can look at the how much bigger this makes our file so here's two zero seven nine uh, dot mp4 here's it viewed in a in vlc you can see it's a slow little panning shot up to a platter of ethiopian food um not super complicated and that's a 14 megabyte file and then we now have a new file 20790001.mov this is the new generated file and it's 98.4 now i'd have to try to open this in vlc like this and we can see it looks pretty much the same uh but clearly our file has become bigger anyway that's been transcoded what I want to do now is I'm going to jump into DaVinci, DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to load this up here. I'm using DaVinci Resolve 18 on Ubuntu. This is the um, free version of the software. So I'm going to drag this over and uh, start, go back into this untitled project. So I'm going to go into the media pool tab. And I have certain things uh, set up here. So I'm gonna go into video, then I'm going to click down into raw, and now we should be able to see our Ethiopian clip folder. So double click here into Ethiopian. Now have a look at what's gone on. So these were, this whole folder was easy to read in, um, in Caden Live, but if I add the first clip in this numerically 202067, in DaVinci, it's a bunch of black thumbnails and there's nothing to be seen in any, in any of these clips. Now we can add this into our media pool and uh, we're gonna see that we're not able to work with it. Now scrolling down through the media pool, I see one file here that is not all blacked out and this is our transcoded clip. We can see we have audio, we can see we have video and I'm gonna add that into our media pool. So that's the file we transcoded in Caden. I'm gonna go into the edit tab of uh, DaVinci and just in case you need further proof that without transcoding the file is completely useless I can drag this into our editing timeline 
and there's nothing there's neither audio nor is there video so i'm going to delete that as that is not going to be very useful to us and i'm going to drag now the uh, transcoded file using Caden Live, and we can see that we have both an audio waveform and we have video so that was for a one file process what if you wanted to um, transcode this entire clip folder so you're not going to be able to right click on the folder although that will work for toggling on and off proxying what you can do instead is simply go from 2067 through to 2094, select them all, right click, and then we're gonna go for DXNHD 1080p um, 25 FPS, and we're gonna use the 120. Click on that, and now we can see 26 jobs are processing in our manager. Uh, in our job manager and therefore they're all going to be transcoding um, into DNX HD resulting in M0 MOV files and that's going to take a minute so this is how if you want one graphical method there are others um, of transcoding your mp4 files into DNX HD that will work with DaVinci Resolve then you can just uh, open your um, raw project bin in Caden Live transcode them there and now I'm just going to drag over the folder. We can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're about uh, seven clips in or eight clips in. And then once this process is finished, uh, you can just go ahead and delete the original MP4 files or keep them backed up somewhere if you choose. Hope this video is useful if you're trying to use uh, DaVinci Resolve on Ubuntu Linux and you need to transcode your clips. This is not the only way I've shown a previous way based on the terminal and there's probably more ways again but this is one way of skinning this particularly annoying cat for ubuntu users of davinci thank you guys for watching if you'd like to get more videos from me on this youtube channel about caden live ubuntu and other subjects please do consider subscribing